Caramanico is a small Italian municipality of 2,000 inhabitants situated in Pescara, Abruzzo. The town takes its name both from Caro, a monk who lived in the 10th century, and from Arimania, a Lombard establishment in the late Middle Ages, Arimanicum. The village is placed at 613 meters above sea level at the foot of Maiella and Morone, both of which are part of the Apennines. Its territory comprises the Horta and Orfento rivers, along with the valley in between. Caramanico is situated in the traditional Apennine environment, which consists of the fascinating Mediterranean scrub, the majestic Maiella, and the enchanting forest. Over the centuries, deforestation has caused landslides and erosion phenomena due to construction of houses. The Orfento Valley is crossed by numerous footpaths that allow tourists to explore the Maiella National Park. This park was the typical Apennine fauna made up of wolves, badgers, foxes, weasels, ground dogs, bears, deers, and chamoises. Furthermore, there are also many prey birds and nocturnal animals such as eagles, oaks, and owls. Most of these animals are preserved in the zoological museum thanks to the art of taxidermy. On the contrary, other species are kept alive in the Natural History Museum, Paolo Barrasso. The presence of human settlements dates back to the Paleolithic era, when were used amygdalas, arrows and other tools that have been recently found in this area. Caramanico was created during the barbarian invasions, and after many centuries, it became part of the kingdom of the two Sicilies. Its famous spa was built in 1901, and during Mussolini's dictatorship, the castle of the town was demolished but luckily a local can describe it for us. Per me il luogo più bello in assoluto era il castello, che adesso voi non avete potuto vedere, perché sta nella parte più alta proprio di Caramanico, ma eh, ne sono rimaste poche rovine, perché eh, il tempo, i terremoti l'hanno devastato. Ma era proprio eh, sulla cima della, della, della di questo specie di cocuzzo. Nowadays, Caramanico is considered one of the most interesting and picturesque villages of Italy, thanks to its numerous attractions and the alluring history. Caramanico's mayor is currently Simone Angelucci, who is helped by Giovanni Conte, the deputy mayor. The country is full of churches and monasteries, 
thanks to its long and fascinating history. In fact, near to the church of St. Thomas Becket, a sanctuary consecrated to Hercules, were found more than 50 small statues dedicated to the Greek hero. Then we can find the convent of the Capuchins of San Lorenzo, which is highly criticized due to a 12th century restoration, which deleted the initial pomp of the monastery. Then we have the church of San Nicolas of Bari, which keeps its original shape and represents the splendor of the village. Last, but not least, there's the church of Santa Maria Maggiore. The most beautiful religious edifice in Caramanico. Unfortunately, it's closed to the public due to the collapse of the roof, which is going to be repaired in a few years. Fountains cover a special role in the decoration of the city. That's because you can find them everywhere, and they give happiness to the environment where they are placed. One of the most recent monuments is the War Memorial, which commemorates the inhabitants of Caramanico, who died during the First and the Second World War. The locals have always tried to conserve their traditions and cults, but the following festivities are just a few examples of their endless customs. St. Anthony's Feast is one of the most important celebrations of the country. It is an ancient festivity which dates back to the Middle Ages, and now it is celebrated every year on the 17th of January. St. Anthony's iconography represent him accompanied by a pig, symbolizing the devil and luxury, which was the main source of livelihood for the population. Nowadays it is celebrated in the form of participatory drama, organized by the locals, and it is made of dances, songs and outdoor performances in honor of Saint Anthony. Not long ago, the inhabitants of Caramanico used to set big fires named Favoni on the 1st of August to begin the month consecrated to the town's patron. Every neighborhood lit a Favone in honor of Our Lady of the Assumption, the protectress, and they tried to set the biggest and brightest fire possible. The Favoni were just a way to pay homage to the Madonna, so that she could protect the annual harvest. The locals have recently been endeavoring to restore this cult, not to lose a fundamental piece of their tradition. Caramanico's economy has experienced many changes throughout this century. Initially, it was based on agriculture and pastoralism, but now it is focused on tourism, thanks to the many naturalistic attractions such as the Mayala National Park and the Spa. La Reserve is a five-star hotel situated in the center of Caramanico, which offers a peaceful and relaxing experience at a very convenient price. Caramanico Terme, town of immense culture and endless possibilities, represents the essence of Abruzzo and the demonstration of the immeasurable Italian heritage which is too often forgotten by its inhabitants. <laughs> 